Hey guys, it's India. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a twist tutorial. We are going to be putting in some long twists with curly ends. But before we jump into the tutorial, be sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn your post notifications on. Give the video a thumbs up, girl, and join the fam. So today's video, like I said, is going to be how I install my twist. Now, this is definitely a go-to hairstyle for me. Like, I'm quick to put in some twists. I just feel like it's so much quicker than braids and I just always love the way they come out So you guys can see we're starting off on blow-dried hair. So freshly washed deep conditioned blow-dried trimmed I am going to be posting a video later this week on how I blow dry and trim my natural hair So definitely stay tuned for that but I am using some jam. You guys can see I start off with my very first part going ear to ear. This is just the way I like to do my twist. I feel like the parting for this works really well. So I go ear to ear first, apply jam in that area, and then I go ahead and do my middle part. And then, of course, we're going to be using a lot of jam, you guys, because that's the best way I feel like to help slick the hair down, make sure that it doesn't frizz up. So I'm doing that and then applying the jam around my edges as well and then using my bristle brush just to go ahead and brush everything everything in and make it nice and smooth so i am going to be doing eight rows of twist in the front so i'm going to be doing four rows on each half of my head so i like to part my half in half first go ahead and apply jam make sure that that part is nice and straight and then i'm going to part that half in half again and this is how i'm going to get my four rows so i am doing kind of like a pre-parting method first where i part all four rows use the jam and then you guys can see i have one two three four and then i'm gonna have four on the other side as well now the hair that we are going to be using today is by Zuri Sis. It is the Zuri Sis Water Wave Hair in 20 inches. I put it close up to the screen so you guys can screenshot it, girl. This is in the color 1B. I picked this up from my local beauty supply store. This is a hair I find that is carried at a lot of different beauty supply stores. So I feel like you shouldn't have a lot of trouble finding it. I'm not sure if it is on Amazon or not. If it is, I will put it in my Amazon store and link it down below for you guys. It is my go-to hair anytime I want to do this style so you guys can see we are starting off with the hair being off centered so that is how you're going to get the curly end you literally just take the hair you off center it and you're just going to start twisting so this is the invisible twist method so you guys can see with my right hand I am winding the hair backwards and then with my left hand I am winding the hair forward and then I'm just going to cross it over and continue to twist i left this in kind of like real time so you guys can see but it's really pretty simple once you get the hang of it you just kind of have to say in your head when you're first starting right hand twist backward left hand twist forward cross over i believe you cross your right hand to so the part you're twisting to the back cross it over your left and then that is how you will get it now so you guys can see here when I'm doing it, I do part diagonally in the square. I feel like that works best um, for the hair. You can definitely just part straight down or horizontal horizontally, however you want to do it. But I normally just do it diagonally and I'm just twisting them all in the same method. So the right hand back, the left hand forward and crossing over. Now, as you continue to twist, you're going to want to kind of like loosen up your grip a little bit or your hair is going to start to like curl up on itself, um, leaving this kind of like curly twist. All of my twists are not exactly uniform and I feel like it's totally okay with twists. I feel like this is just like a really effortless type of look. For the most part, all of my twists look the same, but I may get, get a part where it kind of like curls on itself. So you guys can see at the bottom, I'm going to show y'all again, but how I just made like a little knot on itself so that I can, you know, hold that hair into place since we are doing this off centered thing and we will not be like burning these ends or anything like that. 
Now in this middle section here at the very top of my head, this row that is my center part, I did five twists. So I have five twists on that row. In the row below that, I have four twists. The row below that, I have three. And the row below that, I have two. So it's totally up to you, however many you want to make, however small you want to make your boxes. But this, doing it like this, the hair is not too heavy. I don't have too much hair installed. The style is not super heavy. I used two bags of hair for this style so two full bags and then one bundle from the third bag so in each bag of this hair you get three bundles so i use two whole bags of hair and then one bundle from the third bag so i would recommend that you go ahead and buy three if you only want to buy two just make sure that you know you don't make your boxes too small or you will run out of hair and i do only use one piece of hair from the bundle like i only one only one strand of hair per bundle so you guys can see here i'm making a little knot so it's really kind of self-explanatory you guys just watch this part it's really just a small knot that i just take with the smaller piece and then just kind of wind it around and then that's how you get those curly ends you don't have to like rod them or anything like that that's why i like to use this hair the texture for this hair is like a soft yakky natural feeling hair it's not rough but it is like textured so i really like the look that this gives i feel like it blends really well with my natural hair now my setup for these twists i am in the bathroom as you guys can see so i put my mirror hanging over the door on a door hanger and then i'm sitting with my back facing the like sink with the mirror over it so i'm able to see the back of my head i feel like this is a great way to be able to part your hair. If you have a bigger mirror like the one that I'm using, this is my vanity mirror that I basically just flipped upside down and I put a ponytail holder around the base and then hung it on the door hanger. So I'm able to see the back of my head really good and I feel like my parts came out nice and straight. I know people are like, facetiming themselves on like different devices and stuff like that girl whatever works for you but i just wanted to show you guys how i'm doing it this way especially like how i attach the ponytail holder with the base and like the size mirror that i'm using so hopefully this helps you guys out if you have a similar setup so i am just continuing to twist my hair you guys can't really see super close up what i'm doing but i mean i feel like really just watch those first two parts again if you're having trouble and you know just watch it closely girl and you'll be able to see but i really just wanted to show you guys how i was parting it so and like about how many rows i have so i believe i ended up doing one two three four five i think i have six maybe seven six or seven rows in the back and i did kind of do the pre-parting thing all the way up and then finally i have gotten to my last set of twists so that little part at the top ended up being four and then this is my very last one right here and i am making sure that i always brush the hair out with a paddle brush before i get started and then i'm just continuing on twisting with the same exact method now that I am done twisting, I'm using just a little bit of hairspray just because I feel like, girl, this is what the professionals be doing. Okay, they put, always spray hairspray after when they're done. Some of them put like a whole bunch of mousse. I'm not a mousse type of girl. Plus, I feel like it frizzes up your hair because it's water-based. So I just like to do some hairspray on top and you guys can see how they came out. They're really long. They're super pretty. I just love the way that they came out. Um, if your ends start getting a little rough, you can always just use some type of like water conditioner mix or you can use the Hawaiian Silky 14 in one. I may do like a maintenance video for you guys and show you how I've been, you know, keeping up with my twist. But this is the final look. What do you guys think? I feel like it came out so, so good. And it's like twist for summertime are just giving very much everything. I just I love it. Love the way they came out. It's such a nice, lightweight, effortless style. It took me, I think maybe about like six seven hours or so to complete this look but you guys know like I'm filming and I'm for you guys I'm also making like a reel and stuff and everything else so somewhere around six to seven hours girl but that's gonna be it for today's video be sure you hit that subscribe button down below turn your post notifications on give the video a thumbs up girl and I will see you guys in my next video bye